Hey, what's up? I am Jay Shaman Gamer. Welcome back for another YouTube video. And today I'm showing off my Dead or Alive uh, collection. I uh, wanted to do this video for quite a while, and since the Dead or Alive 6 uh, came out uh, just there uh, at the beginning of this month, uh, March 2019, uh, released the 1st of March. Super excited to do this video. Uh, awesome. Uh, let's do this video. Uh, I have this wall scroll. Um, the Dead Ultimate. Um, the series of the game and uh, it's a pretty cool wall scroll. Uh, I, think, I think I got this from the United States um, in America and we've got there's a name I might call up and get her name but um, yeah really awesome I have this wall scroll I think two or three years three years I think uh, it's quite nice uh, silk uh, cloth wall scroll Right, uh, the story of why I'm collecting Dead or Alive games is the reason why uh, Dead or Alive game was one of my f second, third fighting game. Dead or Alive was my third uh, fighting game. Uh, I was always screwed up from uh, Streets of Rage and Street Fighter. Uh, I always find Street Fighter was a bit hard and tough game to play, and I find Dead or Alive uh, not easy to get into. Uh, the same as um, Streets of Rage, that was a different, it's like a beaten up game. Uh, you go through different stages. Um, well, Dead or Alive is more like uh, tag tournament and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's just let's talk about the story of the history of Dead or Alive games. I uh, just love the girls, the art, and the music is um, amazing. All right, uh, so let's start this video off with the first PlayStation game and uh, Dead or Alive, the first one from the original uh, PlayStation and uh, by Tecmo. And that is PAL UK version, of course. All these games I'm showing you today is UK PAL only um, exclusive. Uh, so it's not uh, America or Japanese. Okay, uh, before I start this first Dead or Alive game, uh, only Dead or Alive games I'm missing uh, currently at the minute. And, uh, and that is uh, Dead or Alive uh, Ultimate uh, comes through 1 and 2. Uh, Dead or Alive 1 and 2 uh, only Xbox exclusive and uh, the original Xbox uh, Dead or Alive uh, Ultimate 1 and 2 uh, Dead or Ultimate is like Dead or Alive 1 and 2 uh, together uh, the first PlayStation and PS2 and, and so on uh, that's the one I'm missing and uh, next game I'm missing is Dead or Alive Extreme uh, Volleyball the first one and the third one uh, currently, I'm going to show these to get the uh, Dead or Alive Extreme off uh, out of the way first and uh, explain the reason why. Uh, it's not a fighting game, it's mostly just girls hanging out in the bikinis and uh, guys like girls. Um, and this is it here this is Dead or Alive Extreme 2, uh, exclusive from the Xbox 360. Uh, I believe I need to get it for the PlayStation 3. Uh, but I'm currently missing the first one and I believe the, the third one is the latest one. Uh, I think it released in 2016 and uh, Dead or Alive Extreme 3. But uh, it's basically just girls hanging out and skiing and jet ski and bikini. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, amazing. Uh, by Tecmo. Uh, it's, just, it's just girls having fun. And uh, yeah, it's complete with Mino. Let's check out the art on that. Super cool, and uh, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, what well, can I say about it? It's just uh, girls in bikinis. If you like girls that way, but uh, let's get to the serious business. Um, get to the fighting games. So we'll get that out of the way first. Uh, the only game I'm missing, the other game I'm missing, and that is Dead or Alive uh, for the PSP, and that is Dead or Alive uh, Paradise. Uh, it's pretty hard to pick that game up and the other Dead or Alive game is Dead or Alive Plus for the PS Vita. Those are my current Dead or Alive games I'm missing but apart from that I have got most of all the games here, uh, 1 to 6 so, so, so far. Right, here is the first PlayStation game and that is Dead or Alive from PAL. Uh, basically it's just like uh, moves and this is a bit like virtual fighter and uh, if i'd be honest with you uh but it is the best game um the cover and the art weren't great at the, the time this game released in 1996 
and uh, there is the back of the case uh, incomplete comes out in the manual the disc I'm currently playing this game but uh, anyway there is the manual uh, so I'm popping this game is played on the uh, original PlayStation so I'm currently playing that game today and uh, so not so much can say about Dead Alive it's uh, it's a classic released in 1996. Uh, two versions of the Dead Alive 2. Uh, I've got the PlayStation 2 version. Uh, also, I have got the Dead Alive 2 uh, for the Dreamcast. Um, let's talk about the Dreamcast first. Uh, I think I believe this came out in 2000 for the Dreamcast. I believe I think I think both come out at the same time I'm not 100% sure I believe this has come out in 1999 for the PS2 but uh, the Dreamcast died in 2000 so I think this game did come out in 2000 but it says on the back it released out in 2000 uh, by claim uh, company uh, Tecmo uh, there is the back cover of the case uh, I think I love it Dead Alive 2 I love the soundtrack and this is absolutely amazing um, it's, a, it's one of the best Dead Alive 2 game versions. I actually prefer the Dead Alive 2 um, because of the music and the soundtrack. And uh, yeah, that is the Dreamcast version. And now I'll show you the uh, PS2 version. And uh, you can see on the back of the uh, case here, uh, we're all got the weakness. Let's check out the art and that. That is amazing. And uh, basically they kicked off a bit better um, on the PS2 and uh, there is the disc um, manual. DualShock 2 version, of course, from that time when the PS2 came out. Uh, based out in 2001, I think this came out. Uh, but anyway, the PS2 did come out on 2000, around about that, but this is 1999 uh, PAL version. But uh, anyway, the PS1 was sort of competing against the PDS2 at the time and uh, yeah great game um, what can you say about the PS2 yeah it's um, two player uh, four player um, co-op I think that's uh, compatible four player you can play on this game uh, unbelievable uh, <laughs> but uh, love the art and that Now, going on, going on to uh, next is Dead or Alive 3. Uh, I believe this came out for the Xbox originally, exclusive. Didn't come out for the PS3, um, nor the Xbox, sorry, uh, never come out for the PS2. Uh, Xbox exclusive, uh, Dead or Alive 3. Um, I love the music and the soundtrack. You can see on the back of the case, the soundtrack, you've got Aerosmith. Don't wanna miss a thing. <laughs> and yeah, and it's got the nine lives on there as well. Uh, you can just see there in the middle of the classic um, soundtrack, and this is awesome. Uh, they really get into the serious business of the Dare Life 3 now, and the characters and the art and style in this game is amazing. And uh, yeah, of course, it's complete. And this is just showing you the extreme volleyball there. Just move the cover there, but uh, get that out of the way. And then you see there is the art, the mino, the mino and disc. Super awesome. And uh, I'll just put that back in again. Uh, at the end of this video, I will give you the close up of all the games in depth uh, using my camera. And I'll give you a zoom in of all the games after this video. And uh, brilliant game, Dare Life uh, 3. Uh, four player, I uh, believe you get an arcade stick for this, uh, the original Xbox, of course I don't have an arcade stick, but uh, not a great game. Now I know Tecmo released out another game, and uh, continue on with the franchise series, and the Dead Alive 4, uh, not a bad game, um, to be honest with you, it's a bit easy in head to head, uh, pumping excitement, but Great art cover on it, but what could I say about Dead Alive 4? Uh, it was released out in 
2005. Uh, pretty cool. Love the art in this. This is awesome. Uh, by, I forget her name. Uh, not Kahonda, it's Kahonda. It's, uh, I think it's with a K. Uh, no, Casimir, it's your doll here is Kas Kas Kasimir. Uh, I can't remember her name, but anyway, uh, I always tend to forget character names. But the uh, more if you play the game, the more you get to know them. But that long as I played Dare Alive, uh, so I started collecting Dare Alive since early 2000s. And uh, yeah, not a good game. For only, only came out for Xbox 360 uh, exclusive. Uh, it never came out for the PS3. Uh, Dead Alive 4, nor the, 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 the Dead Alive 3, it was only the original Xbox exclusive. Um, sorry I missed that game before the Dead Alive um, 4 and Dead Alive Ultimate. I do have, but uh, I don't have the Dead Alive 1 and 2 together, um, exclusive for the Xbox, but uh, not a great game. Dead Alive Ultimate is probably a good game, uh, it's got all of the um, Bikini, uh, Volley Extreme, uh, all different, you can see it there in the back of the case, that's why it's called Dead Alive Ultimate. So you've got two versions of the game, you can get the fighting game style and then you can get the beach uh, mode as well. Uh, complete with the manual. Uh, 2, Ultimate, so there it is, I have got Dead Alive 2, sorry, I have Dead Alive 2 on the Ultimate, but I don't have the first one uh, on the Ultimate series, I would love to pick up. Uh, if I do get one and two together, that will be a bonus. Uh, that will be a nice. But complete the minor. Pretty awesome. Ah, finally, we move on to uh, Dead Alive 5. So we're getting into the early 2012. And uh, I have got the, um, the collector edition of Dead Alive 5. You've probably seen this on... Um, Instagram, if not, I haven't really done it on Instagram, so I haven't posted this up on Instagram, but we're posting all the Dare Alive games on Instagram. Uh, it's complete name edition, comes with the soundtrack, art book, uh, the game, and uh, I think uh, the art book, yeah, and I believe the postcard should be in here as well, yeah, it comes complete with the uh, A4, or not A4, but A3 uh, postcards, uh, so let's check out that. That's lovely art on the back of that. But I'll give you a definite close up after the video and uh, let you see the record it 13 minutes. I'll probably do a second part of this video, uh, all the close up. I'll probably do a three part in this video. I think that'll be the best option. And uh, yeah, this video will be up uh, today, um, uh, Friday. Uh, the part two will be up on Saturday. So uh, I'll give you a deaf close up. It's just uh, awkward uh, doing this when I'm sitting, uh, so it's better doing it on the on the table or something like that. Uh, finally, we move on to the last two games of the franchise series of Dead or Alive and uh, Dead or Alive Five. I have for the Xbox 360. Don't have for Dead or Alive Five for the PS4. Um, no, I mean the Dead or Alive Five for the PS4 because uh, this is an our version update from the Xbox 360. It's the same as if you have the Xbox One. Dare Life 5 Last Round. It's an okay game. Um, I thought this was the end of the Dare Life uh, franchise. I thought they were going to make any more Dare Life games. And uh, it was about a year ago they announced they were going to do Dare Life 6. And I was blown away. Um, but they were keeping it alive. So it's not dead. So I was pretty happy. Super stoked about that. And that's Dare Life 5 Last Round, uh, released in 2015, and there is the back cover of it. I recently picked this game up about a few weeks ago, uh, just early March time, and it's a hard game to get. A uh, game store was sold out, a uh, local game store, and the Gurig CX. Uh, here in the UK, but I'm glad I picked this game up. Uh, great game. And you noticed in the last video that two weeks ago, um, just over about a week ago, really, and that was Dead Alive 6, released out uh, at the beginning of March. 
Um, that is the 2019 March game. Uh, continuing on with the franchise series from the original Dead or Alive 1999. That's awesome. Uh, check out the link at the top of the cart now. You can check out the art uh, on the steel case and you can check that out in the right hand corner. And uh, just be able to flip it over here now. And check out that. It's amazing. Okay, and there is the back of the case there. Still haven't played this game, I'm way behind folks, um, still haven't got into Dead Alive 6, but I'll be playing this game uh, tomorrow. Um, I was playing the original Dead Alive game today, and I played Dead Alive 2 uh, as well. And that is my Dead Alive collection uh, of 2019, uh, as I showed you the games I'm missing, is uh, Dead Alive Paradise for the PSP, and Dead Alive Plus for the PS Vita, and Dead Alive Extreme Volleyball 1. And three only have the second one, and the other one is Dead or Alive Ultimate. I got one and two together. I only have, I have Dead or Alive two on the Ultimate, and uh, I just got the first one. Be nice to have on the Xbox. All right, folks. I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, stay tuned for part two. I'll give you a camera. I'll zoom in of all the Dead or Alive games. Uh, as for now, folks, um, I'll leave you in peace, and I'll see you for part two of the Dead or Alive collection. Um, I'll be up on Saturday and yeah, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, uh, JH I'm a Gamer, uh, leave all the links to my social media uh, below the video, you can check out all my Instagram, Twitter and so on. Have, uh, have now folks, uh, have a good weekend and I'll see you for part two and have a good one folks.